Hello everybody out there in YouTube world. Um, right, this video I'm going to be doing now. It's about what happened in connection with what happened to Caroline Flack yesterday, who took her life on Saturday, the fifteenth of February, two thousand and twenty. Boy, suicide, man. I know about that. Um, I attempted uh, a couple of times. I'm being honest enough, and I really did. I know uh, in 2011, when I was diagnosed with PTSD, and I felt like the system turned its back on me, which it did. It stabbed me in the back. And plus, with me feeling very unwell mentally, I didn't think that there was anything left out there for me to carry on living at the time I really reached the lowest point in my life ever I know I was, I was with my wife at the time Jenny um, it was tough on her as well seeing me like this but she didn't know that I was that suicidal honestly for those of you who see this who may have been there yourself, so you can probably relate to this. When you go to that point in life, you really can't believe that you're actually there. You feel like you're dreaming. I mean, you see it in movies where people do it and you hear about it through the, the media, the news, stuff the press there's yeah, some of the worst uh, things that are out there the press because they can manipulate stories and tell lies because they too themselves the press are afraid of the truth um, some papers which I'm going, not going to mention are some of the worst in this country ever that we've got one starting with the letter S the S and the other one um, DM for short there, there are some of the worst papers out there which they affect people they don't affect me because I know my story was in one of the papers um, our local Express and Star they did a good feature on it but um, that paper and you know with the name well in the initials DM they managed to get my story and they changed a few things as well you know but anyway but getting back to the events of yesterday with Caroline Flack boy tough deal man you know I really feel for her loved ones <sighs> anyway with me getting back from where I was suffering with my PTSD um, it, was, it was a tough battle and then my marriage ended um, with Jen and it brought me to a very very low point again in my life and I was very very suicidal I was close to it as well but you know what kept me going my son and the help and support that I had from when I was diagnosed with PTSD in 2011 that got me through it again I was on my own so I did it all off my own back and the words of encouragement of my friends as well you know family um, so I did a video when I was in this flat in Briley Hill I didn't know what to do or where to go and it was just a cry for help. But for those of you who see this video, please, if you go to that low point in your life where you feel like just ending your life, please don't go there. There is help out there. Don't be afraid to ask for that help. Please. Lose that pride. Get rid of that pride. Because pride itself can be a killer. It nearly killed me. So please, please, please 
ask for that help. Don't be afraid to, honestly, do not be afraid. And I would stress that, don't be afraid to speak out. Please, because there's so many people, some good people out there who are taking their lives. Please. Anyway, I thought I'd do a video on that. Um, I've done this video to get loads and loads of views. I, I don't do that kind of stuff. I do videos because I want to do them. And if I feel that I, whatever's on my mind, I have to say it, but in a good way, you know. Um, I'm not a negative person for those of you wonderful people out there who know me. I'm not a negative person at all. But, um, but please, 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 please ask for help. Ask for help. 